Hello there. Today we're going to make a card out of, I'm thinking possibly this frog, <laughs> this frog image, and some of these. They, they all say the same thing, you are special, and they're stamped on here. So I thought I've got a whole slew of them here, so why not make them into a background on a card? So here's a background. And I don't know if I want to do lay this on top or try to lay it down. Let's try just laying it right here for now. And then we'll see what it looks like. That's an interesting idea. Because we can let the pieces hang off or stay on, depending on what we're going to do. I'm not sure. Maybe we can do this one over. Maybe this one here. Maybe the other piece over here somewhere. That's an idea. I could put one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is looking kind of cute. I think I like this idea. That one's a little crooked. I'm not liking that one. <laughs> There's a yellow one. All right, so I think I want to trim some of these down. That's cool. So I could do it that way. I could do these ones this way. I could put another little piece right over here. I like that idea. Leave a little space. I want to move it over more. There. I like that. All right, you know what? I'm going to just start gluing these down because I like this idea. And when I get to the frog, I'll deal with it if I want it on top or on bottom because if I put it on top, that would be cute. But I think I might want to sneak it in there somewhere. So let's start gluing this down. That's going to be fun. I only have one this color, so I might want to cut this one in half. Oh, no, I have, I've got another one. Okay, good. So I was going to say, I might want to cut that down to share the color. All right, so there are two. That's good. All right. I've got a lot of the pink. All right, so I had this one here. So let's do that one there, and then this one I can hang off. All right, so we'll do that. So kind of building blocks, like a brick wall, but with the words, you are special. That's pretty cool. Nice. Now that one can go there. And then I can put one on either side. What a fun idea. Hmm. Oh, I think I only had one of those purple, purple ones. Yeah, all right. So, because that one was crooked, so that's okay. I can use this one here, and then I can put another piece down farther. That'll work. I like it. looking at all the stuff on my desk going, okay, grab a handful of something. And I saw this whole stack and I went, make a card. <laughs> yep, make a card out of it. That'll work. All right, then I'll bring down this. 
and I need to remember to save room for the froggy. I want to put the froggy in the middle. Nope, I think I do want them over. You know what? I'm going to just stick them down there, and he's just going to have to be wherever I stick them down, right? All right, so he's going to go right there. Ta-da! All right, so now I have to work around them. So we can do this one. I'm liking this. See, sometimes I have to force myself to do something that makes me a little uncomfortable. But that is coming out cute. <laughs> that is definitely cute. And that will definitely fit there. And I could put this one here that'll work. Alrighty. And then I should be able to fit one more row right underneath. So that's perfect. This is cute. All right, then we want this one over here and this one here, about one in between. You are, you definitely want the purple, I definitely want the green. So then we need something else in the middle. So, oops, yellow. I guess there's more yellow there. Okay, so this one will go in the middle. All right, so this goes down first. Perfect. in the middle. And this will go on the right. And this will go on the left. Very, I like the way that came out. What do you think? Isn't that sharp? That's a cute idea for a birthday card or for a just thinking of you or graduation or you did really good or I like that Aww. <laughs> I'm pleased with that okay so now we've still got this many more whole bunch and I guess we could put one on the inside we've got a crap load of these pink ones so let's put one of those on the inside alrighty and let's see we need a card that is fun. <laughs> I like that. All right, perfect. So let's pick these up, put the elastic back around them. Oh, we've got another green one in there. Oh, maybe I'll put the green one on the inside instead. That's a good idea. It is a froggy card. And there's only one green one left. Oops, no, there's not, there's two. <gasps> okay. Is there only one purple one left? Looks like it. Yep, there's only one purple one left. All right, then. Oh, and that's a funky crooked one. So do I want funky crooked? I could tilt it. Why the heck not? We can put that on the inside. We'll do it that way. Voila. All right, and then this will go on the outside. It's really fun. I do like that. Okay, now I'm gonna trim the top and bottom a little bit. Ooh, let's see. Right there, and I want it five and a quarter. 
right there. All righty. So that's perfect. And there we go. That makes a neat looking card. So if you've got a whole bunch of the same words stamped out, you find a whole stack of them somewhere, go ahead and lay an image down and then start lining those words up around it and create a card. That makes a fun background, doesn't it? I like that. <laughs> That's cute. All righty. So let me bring it up closer. Does it need a bow? Oh, I do have that itty bitty bow. Where'd it go? Right there. I could put a bow. Oh, <laughs> yes, he needs a bow. He's having a bow right on his little back. That's funny. That is adorable. I like that. Okay, where are my tweezers? Let's press that into that glue real good. I like it. Aw, what do you think of that? Isn't that adorable? I think someone's going to feel pretty special getting this, don't you? <laughs> and here's the inside. You are so special. So there you go. Another interesting little idea to use your word strips for. How's that? So I hope you like this idea. And you'll pull out some word strips and have at it. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.